yeah! Hey everybody, it's Deekthany Deek Tano here, the internet's deekest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Deacon album, Sleep Cycle. Deacon, multi-instrumentalist, producer, singer-songwriter, apparently, on-again, off-again member of the fantastic and internationally known psychedelic pop outfit, Animal Collective. And he is coming through with a long-awaited solo debut album, Sleep Cycle. Whoa! I've had my reservations in the past with Animal Collective albums. Well, not specifically Animal Collective albums. The group albums are pretty consistent, very enjoyable, though I didn't really enjoy the last one. It's just their solo efforts. The solo efforts. They usually end up being a major disappointment for me. It's like I'm listening to a piece, but not the full piece puzzle. That's true in the case of Panda Bear and AV Tear, and I'm wondering if that's going to be the case too in the case of Deacon. Now this thing is six songs and just over 30 minutes long, so even if it is lackluster, it's not really going to overstay its welcome. It's pretty short for a sleep cycle, more like a, an afternoon nap, but there's nothing on this album that makes me want to sleep. There are actually a lot of engaging moments on this album. I don't think Deacon has the unique vocal delivery of an AV tear or a panda bear, but simultaneously Deacon avoids some of the shortcomings of their solo efforts. It's not as repetitive and a wash in pointless minutia and reverb is like a panda bear album, and it's not as obnoxious or as grating as an AV tear project. But stylistically, Sleep Cycle still shares a lot in common with the Animal Collective discography. There are tons of tracks on here that are very dreamy, psychedelic folk with sound effects and synths and electronics subtly weaved into the mix. The dreamy and softer cuts in the very short track listing here are relaxing, they're pretty, and I actually want to get lost in this very easygoing instrumental. The echo on the acoustic guitar here is a little sharp, but still, each piece of instrumentation is well mixed and recorded and balanced, and even though it's all washing and kind of blending together into this sort of psychedelic soundscape, it's very pleasant and it doesn't turn into mush. This is true of the song Golden Chords, the opener of this album, which with this acoustic instrumentation, with these electronics, the track also features what sounds like a field recording of crickets. Just the drone of nature playing in the background sort of took me back to Animal Collective's Campfire Songs album. The steady and finger-pick guitar chords are very sweet to the ear, and uh, Deacon, his vocals are, I don't know, I guess you would say earnest. They're very intimate, they're very sweet, they're endearing. The song mm -hmm. Matt yeah, yeah, yeah. is equally as pretty, but way more psychedelic, way more layers on this track. The song features kind of a weird oompa rhythm or groove that I like a lot, and occasionally on the song, Deacon works in these rushes of well, I don't know what kind of instrumentation. It sounds synthetic, but some of it sounds organic, but there's a lot of vocal layers in there too. There's just so much layering on this thing. He makes use of the same repetition tricks that Panda Bear and AV Terra and Animal Collective do, but at least here on this little solo project, he's always adding new layers and new sounds and crescendos to keep things interesting. And the vocal melody on this track is pretty solid too. Solid to the point where I actually want to listen to this song over and over over so that I can sort of learn the vocal melody or the words and sing along. Then there are really wild moments in the track listing here, like the song Footy, which is such a physical and, and explosive track. It features these super aggressive and busy drums. The hi-hats are just rattling off like an automatic assault weapon while you have these just pounding toms popping up in the background. And Deacon delivers his most aggressive vocal performance on the entire record. He strains, he yells. At points, it seems a little AV tear influence, specifically during those more chaotic Animal Collective records. And the tension in his voice, the intensity in his voice, really matches this blaring instrumental. These loud, just aggressive riffs that sound like they're coming from a guitar, but 
Maybe that guitar is just so heavily manipulated, it doesn't sound quite like a guitar, or maybe it's a synth. Whatever it is, it's roaring, it's angry, it's loud, and he matches that energy perfectly. The song is borderline psychotic, and as the track moves along, each verse just gets madder and madder and madder. It's really an over-the-top track. Deacon definitely uh, exercises a few emotional demons on this cut. And then after the song, we kind of have a calm after this storm. A little interlude cut that's okay, and then the song Good House. This is the first moment on the record where I think Deacon really begins to find his own voice in his music. Instrumentally, we return back to that kind of nocturnal, outside, nature, very serene instrumentation that kicked the whole project off. And these really deep, murky guitar chords sort of lay a foundation for Deacon to sing over. And lyrically, at least how I'm interpreting it, it's like he's telling us about this house, about this place where his anxieties and his pain and his worries kind of melt away. And the instrumentation builds really nicely with whatever level of emotion Deacon is showcasing in his own voice. I like how dynamic his singing is on this track, and the instrumental too. I mean, almost every instrumental on this project is pretty dynamic. And I also appreciate that even though this project was short, nearly every song segued into the next very fluidly. So it did end up feeling pretty cohesive. There wasn't any one song that stuck out like a sore thumb or was just a really horrible track in the track listing or felt really out of place. It feels like a really cohesive piece with multiple phases to it. Again, I think it could have been a little bit longer, and Deacon, I think, does leave a little to be desired when it comes to his vocal presence and his vocal delivery. He certainly doesn't have a, a stunningly recognizable voice, especially since from time to time we are hearing vocals that sound like they could just be on any other Animal Collective record. But he still brings some decent tunes, some very good, rich, lush production, performances that are either exciting and visceral and intense, or tracks that are really laid back and maybe even a little entrancing. This project has a lot of good things going for it. It's very solid, and I guess it's my favorite of all the recent Animal Collective solo efforts. I'm feeling a light to decent seven on this thing. Transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like. Hit that like. Deacon, sleep cycle forever.